guys and gals, what is up, everybody? Hey there. Uh, it's me, Biggie, and uh, right up there on our screen, that's, uh, I almost said Troll Fist. That's Beard Fist, the, uh, the chance taker. We damn near died last episode. Holy crap, was it close. I can't believe I lived based on how panicky I, I was. Uh, these are back-to-back -back episodes for me. We're hanging out here at Lights Hope Chapel. Sipping on a little coffee. This episode, we're going to head this way. Hey, we saw her last episode. There's a quest over here, I noticed, and uh, it's green, called Zeldar the Outcast. I think this might be a freak in the... Um, there's a crypt, like a cemetery, over... It might be here somewhere. Let's check it out. Hello. They hand the corpses to me. I toss them in the pit. Okay. Can you believe that after all the trouble we have in the plague lands, we have to worry about thieves too? And not just normal thieves, troll thieves, and not just normal troll thieves, <laughs> dead troll thieves. They're led by this big dead troll named Zaldar the Outcast, and they come here at night and steal bodies from the pit below, then take them back to their evil dead troll hideout, the Undercroft, to the west. Go there and take out Zaldar, adventurer. I'm sick to death of his mischief. Okay. Yeah, he's going to be down here. Okay, not quite where I thought. Now, this is a crypt, but it's green. So, we're going to... I think we're going to work on that. And we'll go around down this way. We can also go through Corrin's Crossing here to see if we can s free some more trapped souls. Yes. Hope you guys and gals are doing well today. Trying to get a little bit ahead. I might do a third episode with the same shirt on. Because uh, I'm pretty far behind. I don't know how did I pull that. There just ain't no way. Do that to him. Give me this. One tap, huh? That's right, one tap for you, loser. Da -da 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 -da. It is cold today, man. Yes, it is. We had a big snowstorm roll through. I mean, it wasn't a couple inches, I think, three or four inches. But the temperature got real, real cold. It's going to be, I think, 18 degrees tonight, Fahrenheit. I don't know what that is, Celsius. You can ask your Echo Dot. Or you might just know how to convert it. There's a little formula you can do. What if I could guess what that is? What's well, below freezing here? Wait, am I going this way? What's down here? Oh, Plague Hound runs. All right, let's go this way. Um, I would guess... What is it, like minus eight? What's the temperature I said it was going to be? 18? Alexa. 18 degrees Fahrenheit is what? Celsius. 18 degrees Fahrenheit is minus 7.78 degrees Celsius. I was close. Does that answer your question? Yes, it does answer my question. Thanks for your feedback. You're welcome. So what we need here. What did, what, what did I just discover here? Yeah, it's minus 7.78 degrees uh, is 18 degrees. I think that's what I said. I don't fucking know. Discovered a base camp here. Okay. Is this really a base camp? <laughs> I mean, there's some shit over here.
Makes me think like we're going to have like mobs or something. I'm just kind of fucking on my toes. I'm still re reeling and recovering from last episode, which was this episode from, well, same day for me. Just hide that quest. The pet has been infected. You, I guess you pretty much stay infected if you are here in the plague lands. I posted some, I went to the Undercity, uh, filled up on arrows and also posted some things. Let me just uncover this. But I think this is full of elites. What, no. Well, I don't know if it is or not. Let's just be careful. In starting in Wrath? Or is it Burning Crusade? I think, I don't know. This is where the Death Knight area would be like, you know, up there or whatever. There's a Thorium vein here. I'm just like kind of waiting for stuff to fade in right here. Here we go. And they are elites. We got a blue sapphire there. These are elites we could deal with. But I'm not. I've had enough close calls. One by one is what I mean. Like we could, you know, take them out one by one, but we're not going to do it. I'm going to slay runts and stuff. Yeah, my little place here is not well insulated at all. In fact, I don't even think it is insulated. So I've got like this little carpet. Probably a really old, crappy padding under it. And it's probably... I don't know if it's a wood sl slab... A wood plank or whatever under it probably is. But just having my feet on the floor, on the carpet with socks on, freezing cold. Yeah, the, the cold just radiates through. The door is not well insulated. So I have like a little um, row blanket that I, you know, roll up and I push up against the bottom of the door. If not, the cold air literally just streams right into the, the apartment. We finished up that. Let's finish this up. As we work our way to the north here. What is this? Oh, we have fucking elites here, man. This is the base camp that I discovered. Okay. Pat is not happy with me. I really don't want this guy on me. I don't want to be diseased. No way to get rid of it. Let's feed up the pet. Yeah, I, I guess he is. Oh, he got his frenzy uh, effect. It's the first time I've noticed that. I'm sure it's not the first time he's had that, but... That's what we're currently specking into. Yeah, he's got a 60% chance to gain a 30% attack speed for 8 seconds after he gets a crit. I guess we're going to max that out. I don't know. Let's bring this thing over here. So they have like a little fear that they do. Which makes him drop threat right away.
won't take any more fucking chances, man. It's just not worth it. I don't even know, honestly, if I would do the, the hardcore run again. I don't know. It is such a personal challenge at this point, though. What I'd probably do... I'd be doing a lot of that off camera, maybe. I don't know. I honestly don't know what I would do if I died before 60. Um, let's go... Alright, we'll continue around the lake this way. Well, we have water elementals here. Yes, we do. They're just green mobs, though. Interesting. Something weird right there. Got these stupid gargoyles. Let's finish up the uh, the plague bats. We're not even halfway done with them. Would have been unfortunate right there. But that works so well. Get some thorium. Yeah, so we picked up some. What was it called? Holy shit. Uh, larvaic acid? Larvic acid? Something like that. And it so it was listed for like 14 gold on the auction house. So let's see if we can sell that. Gargoyle freak go. They have really long patrols, it seems like. Let's see if we can interrupt him before he does his fear, because he will drop his threat. Should probably set a AoE trap. Here he comes. This could be bad. Yeah, we're fine. too early. I was trying to concussive shot right when I thought he might do that. Get wrecked, sir. Pretty late swing right there. <laughs> he poked it to make sure it was dead. Um... Got a fire trap for you this time if you come for me, sir. And here he comes. Oh, he didn't get here. <laughs> well, I want him in the fire trap. There we go. 
enjoy that. Do 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 do. Not seen any thorium shells on the auction house. Saw them that one time. Well, a couple times, but. Couple of bats up here. Here it comes. You like that fool? Oh, I got two on me here. It's not going to be good. Let's get our uh, berserking go up. We're going to have to do some melee here. We're pretty much out of mana. I'll keep the sting up on him. Right. Ten more. from the piece of food. I guess we'll eat up as well. Uh, I did get some... Um, whoops. I bought... Giant egg. I bought 20 eggs. And it takes two spices per egg. So I had to get 40 of the spices. But I are able to make up some more monster omelets. They were pretty cheap. I think I paid two gold for 20 eggs or something. Not too bad. <sighs> Damn gargoyles all over the place now. I got some gargoyle statues here in my little apartment. My mom used to send them to me for my birthday. She started doing that a couple years before she died. And I really uh, I really like them. I, I like them a lot. In fact, check this out. So here's this one. The wing broke off of this one on that side over here. Yeah, the wings broke off right here. I tried to glue it, but it's, I've since lost it. It kind of just sits kind of flat. I have this small one. You guys may have seen this. I used to have this, used to be able to see this on my PC before I had the green screen. And this is my favorite. This thing sits like here, like on a ledge. Really cool looking. Yeah. I like it. She just started doing that. I didn't like, uh, you know, I never said, hey, I'm really into gargoyles. I mean, I didn't have, you know, the closest relationship with my mom, but. I cherish these things now. Two bats on us again. Oh, that was so nice. That was pretty well timed. As soon as he got feared, I put concussive shot on him. And by the time he was through with his fear, he had a charge back up. So he was able to charge into him. 
Are you kidding me? <laughs> Dude has 21 fucking health left. Got that last fear off. So I've not seen how close I was to death because, like I said, it's, it's kind of back-to-back -back episodes, but... Oh my god, we were so close. It, it had to have been less than 100 health that we had. Can a fear? Seven more. You wonder why sometimes I like jump around before I engage the target. It's usually just to let the pet build up a little bit of threat. Green mob like this, it doesn't really matter too much, but sometimes I'll let him get two growls, right? Just take a little extra time. Can't skin a gargoyle. Guess that makes sense. I think the I don't want to say the history of gargoyles, but I think they're t to ward off evil spirits or something. I don't know. I don't really believe in the evil spirits and all that shit, but hey, bro. It's Dukas. What's up, Dukas? Oh my god, that's the thing. That's the fucking thing. Blood of Heroes. No thanks. Do not fucking click on that, right? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's it. There's a, like at least an elite that pops out of there, right? It could be other crap or more than one thing. All right, we're looking for the um, like the zombie things here. These these things. So let's kill her. I'm gonna try to avoid the these things, the stitch horrors, because they have the the um, like the chains. I fucking hate those. So these aren't too bad. They have a deafening screech here, but. Doesn't look like they have a fear, which I thought they were going to put up. It's like a silence they put on you. It's a long debuff, longish. Horrible for a uh, spellcaster. Cult of the Damned. He's a little bit higher level than the green mobs we were just fighting, so. But doable. He finally is without a poison or some shit on him. <laughs> Come to Eastern Plague Lands, they said. It'll be fun, they said. It's so stupid that the only people you can free are... like the plagued freaks. make our way down this way. Maybe come back and do this. There's easier places to get those things, I think. There's a couple of different places we can find the those zombie things. Actually, at the graveyard? No. Not at the graveyard. 
up here. I know you can get them yeah, up through here. You can also get them up through here. The um, Darrowshire things. Yeah. A lot of bats here. Maybe we can finish this up. Blood-tinged skies. I anticipated your fear, loser. Now you got a boar back on you. Quite effective, especially on these green mobs. My uh, disengage. Five more freaks. And a partridge in a pear tree. All of these things we're doing are for Tyrian Fordring back there in the western part of Eastern Plaguelands. I missed it. Missed concussive shot. Unbelievable. Took care of the chickens today. Make sure they had uh, plenty of food. And make sure their water wasn't frozen. It doesn't freeze. Well, if it got cold enough, it would. But it, it's been below freezing. And it didn't freeze inside of the, the gravity feeder. But in the actual tray, it had frozen over. So I just made sure they had access to it. Bunch of food for them. They like that stuff, food. Little big fans of it. Me too, really. Like the food as well. So I don't know if you guys remember, I don't know what character or whatever I was playing or what episode, but I, I was talking about a movie that I saw in the theater. It was like early 90s, mid 90s, I can't remember. Ethan Hawke was starred in it. It's based on a true story. And it's an incredible story about a Brazilian soccer team, I think. They were flying somewhere, and because of pilot error, they believe, he was too low or something, they hit the Andes Mountains and they crashed. It was 40, 40 people and, and a, a crew of five. And they had to resort to cannibalism to survive, or they would have died. And it obviously wasn't an easy choice. Anyway, so I was, I'd been talking about that movie. That movie is called Alive. I think it's called Alive. Um, and just coincidentally, there's a website I use to watch movies. Um, and they, the movie has been like redone and I think it's called, it's called Society of Snow or the Society of Snow, something like that. Great. 
uh, excellent uh, movie. I highly recommend it. It it just tells the story and what they went through, what they had to do. Not only did they they survive the crash, I mean, they lost a lot of people who survived the crash and they died later. There were two avalanches that happened where they were basically buried alive in the remain in the front of the plane. The plane broke in two pieces. Just fucking horrifying. Just fucking terrifying. And if you haven't seen it, I won't, you know, I'm not going to, like, say too much. But either one of them I would highly recommend. This is our last plague bat here. Let's pull him over here. We should not pull the gargoyle there because they're not the same creature. All right, we're going to pull the gargoyle anyway. Are we? Yeah. Of course we are. I wonder if the gargoyle also has a screech or something. Congratulations. Thank you. Get a little thread on this thing. So that's done. Yeah, it's really sad. It's also so this the 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 more recent movie that came out, Society of the Snow. It's really interesting the point of view that the story is told from. Well, it's it's kind of strange. It's a little bit third person, but mostly you're just like a normal movie. I don't want to say first person, but it's interesting the way that the the vantage point of the movie is told in the more recent movie. Don't think that was a thing in the first movie. All right. Um, let's continue to hunt the plague, uh, these plague hounds, and see if we can get that finished. The horse, we got 23 minutes on the Hearthstone. If I want a hearth. This is Darrowshire over here? Yeah. That's where we helped, uh, child not was it Pamela may have been Pamela Redpath talk to her aunt as well and I think her uncle yeah I guess I'm having pizza again tonight. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't really want it. minute. 
Did I order? Hold on. <laughs> I actually think I have groceries coming. They should have already been delivered. My reservation expired? Why don't you suck it? What the fuck does that mean? Okay. Well, I'll have it delivered tomorrow then, I guess. Well, that's weird. Wait, did I not check out? Oh, I see what I did. <laughs> I didn't go to the next step. <laughs> I didn't actually fucking... I didn't check out yesterday. Yeah, this was supposed to be delivered today. <laughs> All right, let me place the order. It'll come tomorrow. I guess it's too late to get delivery today or something. All right, it's coming tomorrow. All right. Kind of forgot about that. Yes, I know we didn't have any food. It just occurred to me, but I thought I had actually placed the delivery. Apparently, I just reserved it. Like a fool. Let me check this. Um... Let me say... Sorry, guys, this is a, uh... Somebody asking me a question about uh, programming skills. What I'm willing to do. Um... Alright. We're doing a time. I really shouldn't be fucking around with text messages while I'm doing anything in here. we finished any of these quests? We did the one. Oh, we have two. Tell you what, let's go turn this in. We're about halfway. We're halfway to 60. And I've been thinking about doing some longer episodes. There's Dukas again. Just kind of, uh, you know, maybe cut it in half. This level and a half here. need six more. Oh. oh, I thought that was a rare gargoyle. It is not. Probably is a rare gargoyle in the area, I would imagine. There's also something called Hamea's Plea over here, which I, we could probably do at the same time we do uh, what you call them, Saildars, whatever his name is. Get on your bad motor scooter and ride. It's 
from a band called Montrose. Sammy Hagar was in that band as a very, very young Sammy Hagar before his solo stuff and Van Halen and all that. I think. He may have had a solo career at that time. I don't, but I don't think so. It had uh, Ronnie Montrose in it. Good guitar player. I don't know how many albums they put out. I've only heard one album. Pretty, not too bad. I'm not like, I'm not a Sammy Hagar fan. I never have been. I don't think we're going to mess with this, this episode. Let's go turn in these two quests here. Wait a minute. I'm close on this, right? Oh, I haven't done the frenzied ones yet. Okay. And we've not even... And we also need monstrous plague bats. All right. I'm going to track these two things. See if we can get this stuff done next episode. I didn't realize we also had the frenzied plague hounds. Fortunately, there's only five we need to kill. We'll f figure out where those things are. And a partridge in a pear tree. Like how I track them and then untrack them. Did that a lot. So I don't like the clutter on the screen. There's some weird shit back here, I think. Is there? No. There's like nothing back here? This is weird. Pretty strange, man. So this is where... Yeah, Stratholme, right? Or Skolomance, rather. Last one. Let's get him. Right turn, Clyde. Missed it. But I didn't miss it that time. Go see Tyrion, the Tyrster, the Tyranator, the Ford Rinkster. The Ford Rinkster. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Didn't even see that gargoyle. You jumped right on my head, man. What do you mean you didn't see me? 
I wasn't paying attention. Don't even worry about it. You're a fucking gargoyle. What do you care? If a troll jumps on your head. You should be thankful that you're getting any attention. Consider that action. Yeah. I wonder why Tyrion is up here. This is so weird to me. Maybe it's because it's close proximity to, like, that little area back here. You go through that cave, and there's, like, a abandoned town, and it's also close to Stratholm. But I don't know what he's doing out here. I mean, I would expect him to be in Light's Hope Chapel. Is he, like, outcast or something? Who knows? I know some of you freaks know. Where are my lore people at? No. He says yes. That's what he says. Getting dazed and knocked off the mount, one of the most annoying things in the game. I think there's a thing in uh, retail -y versions or something. Somebody was telling me about this a while ago that it you have much less chance or you can't be knocked off your mount. Oh, the pet leveled. Wow, that's an early level too. Yeah, he usually levels up way down here. So let's see what training points he didn't get. Yeah, he didn't get any. But if we check back in a little while, they might be there. That's the way that I've seen that work. Like, you check it right off the bat, nothing. You check it five minutes later, something. Hey. No dialogue, huh? You are a shining example of decency, person. It has been long since I have felt the blood of heroes pump through my veins. Your acts of bravery are uplifting. May the light watch over you. Bless you, young one. Thank you. Still have one thing to do. Um, we have eight minutes on the old Hearthstone. These are... This is interesting. The Lord's Behest. I don't know if I want to mess with... Good XP for these, though. Seven pieces of living rot in under ten minutes. I kind of hate timed quests. It's such a panicky feeling like anxiety producing for no fucking reason um I'm just gonna log out here I think um sorry just flexing my biceps for you. <laughs> that's how I stretch okay I am gonna log out here uh we'll hang out in Tyrion's house sure we'll call it a house <laughs> That'll do it for this one. Thanks so much for hanging out, everybody. I appreciate it. You guys and gals take care. Beer Fist and I will catch you in tomorrow's episode. It's been real. Peace. Peace.